right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Wow, what a great fight night in Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, great undercard. Like I said um, in my last video with Salt Poppy and talking about Anthony Taylor, I was leading up to that Canelo Ryder fight. An amazing card filled with great fights. Hey, locals favorite, right? This is a locals night. You know, lots of locals, uh, local fighters from either Jalisco or uh, uh, Guadalajara in Mexico. And, and that's what we expect from the host country. We expect that. Uh, we saw that on the Jake and Tommy card, you know, first fight in Saudi Arabia. That was a card that highlighted a lot of uh, Middle Eastern fighters. And same thing here. But before we get to our main event, before we get to Saul Canelo Alvarez versus uh, John Ryder, I, I want to talk about it, probably the most controversial fight of the night. And that was uh, Stevie Spark versus Gabriel Golas. I think I'm saying his name correctly. Uh, the Australian Stevie Spark versus the local from Guadalajara, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel Golas. Uh, that was an excellent fight to watch. They traded leather. They were not afraid to get in there. Here's where the controversy comes in. Even with a knockdown in round six, I thought the Australian won that fight. Uh, the Australian pressured him from round one. I think all of the visiting competitors knew that this was a fight in Mexico. Judges were mostly from the area except for the main event. And they knew that decisions were not going to be had that night. And we saw it all night. You know, I even uh, tweeted out, why even buy the pay-per-view at this point? Uh, these guys were going to have to knock out the locals to get the win. And I think that's what Stevie Spark was going for. He, he put on a strong performance rounds one, uh, you know, two, three. He started to dial back a little bit. We see Golas to, uh, step up the heat a little bit. Um, and Golas, kudos to you. You've got some excellent power, and you've got a crazy chin on you. Um, we saw that chin come to fruition in round six when you started laying it on uh, Spark, and you were able to knock him down with a wicked body shot that could have, that really could have, ended the fight. And in the later rounds of this 10 round bout, we saw Spark get Golas up against the rope with a couple really great shots. And I think the fatigue was just setting in. He wasn't able to finish it off even after landing some very great power punching. And it was a controversial decision. Uh, they had, one of the judges had Golas went in 95 to 94. I don't see that at all. Um, and then there was one that gave it to the Australian, and then the other was the split decision and put it right down the middle. And I just, this is what we expect. You know, when we have a host country that hasn't had a big event like this, a headlining event like this in a long while, we expect the locals to be favored, okay? And um, in a place like Guadalajara, you just can't take the risk. You got to go for the knockout. And I, I don't want to say that Spark didn't try for that, um, cause he did, but I also don't think Golas did enough to win the fight. I watched back the highlights. They don't have the full fight replay back up on the DAZN yet. However, I did watch back the highlights and strangely enough, those highlights start at round six. They don't do any of the rounds prior, despite there being some really great exchanges. So I'm interested in seeing, uh, seeing the Australian come back and redeem himself. I think he did a lot to show the crowd why he deserved to be there. I think Golas still has a great chin. He's still got great power. Like a lot of the Mexican fighters on the card, they rely on the counter-punching style that are brawlers are able to pressure. And um, Spark being able to go in there and do some pressuring of his own, I think surprised a lot of people. So great fight. Would love to see it get run back. I think it deserves to get run back, maybe in a neutral location. Um, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds for those guys? Great fight. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think below. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done.